Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing two scholar boxes in one video. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of art supplies, so let's just jump right into it and see what we've got. Alright, here's the first scholar box. I'm just going to open these up pretty quickly and see what we've got. Alright, I see markers. Here's our sticker, and Feminine Energy is the box, number 91. Um, oh, Copic markers! Oh. oh, I'm so excited. I love Copic markers. Okay, um, we can swatch those in a minute. Here's our candy, a refresher. Sour Apple is one of my favorite flavors of any candy. Um, and then we have a Derwent Graphic, um, 2H. And then a Stedtler Pigment Fine Liner in 0.8. And then we have the Scholar Zine, which I love that design. Here's our print. Very beautiful, matches the sticker. And then our paper. Oh, I like this. It's Bristol Board Sketch Tile. Oh, okay, so it's like really matte and thick. And I like the squareness of it. We've got, ooh, I think I'm going to like this box a lot too. Here's our sticker. Looks like a butterfly or moth on it. Metamorphosis, all right. I just drew a moth and a butterfly um, in a challenge that I'm doing. Okay, masking fluid fine liner. This is good. I've been needing more masking fluid because my other one was so old that I literally cannot use it. Like, it's all hard. And I, I wanted to try this for a while, so this will be fun. Um, and then we have another green candy. I'm not sure what. And then we have a Pro Art Polar 31 White Nylon Brush. Very fine tips, round tip. Oh, here's the little brush cap that's supposed to be on. Brush. Here's our scholar zine. I love the colors. And then here's the print. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I love this print. I literally just drew a butterfly, like a monarch butterfly. I'm doing this um, 30 prompt challenge of animals. A lot of them are endangered animals. And I just did monarch butterfly. Um, and I actually posted it today. Yeah, this is this is a very nice print. I love this. And then we've got some frisk paper. Watercolor paper, 30 sheets, is this cold press? I love watercolor and I love markers. I can't tell you which one I like more, but I'm really excited for both of these boxes. Here's this little tin and we have Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. Oh, these are thick. Look at how nice and chunky this pencil is. So watercolor pencils, I've done videos with those before, so I'm excited to see how this works. Um, we can go one of two ways with this. I can just do each box separate. I can combine them. Um, but let's just start swatching. I'm going to swatch on the papers that each set came with, um, since that's what their intent is for. Real quick, before I start swatching, I just wanted to um, show you guys who the artist of the month is. Uh, we have Katrina Young. Here's her website, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Patreon. Our other beautiful print, Candace Fincher. And she has a website, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and an Etsy shop, it looks like. I will try to link them down below, and let's get swatching. All right, I have used Copic markers a lot before in the past. Not on anything like this before, so I'm interested. And I always use Copic Sketch, not CO. So I am interested to see how they work on this type of paper. Okay. Let's see how these react with this pen. Okay, so I think it'll bleed a little bit. It's not horrible. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the other stuff and then we'll come up with some ideas of what to do. All right, I've got my water and a paper towel to dab. Let's go ahead and start swatching these pencils. I'm gonna make a couple tests here. Try wetting the nib. gonna use a paintbrush on this middle one in a minute here. 
Ooh, that one's really pretty and saturated. I like that. Oh, okay, now I know why I didn't see the color names earlier. I was looking on here, but it's on the other side. Okay, well, I feel stupid. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> my bad, y'all. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I, I really appreciate it. I thought, you know, when I started YouTube, I'm like, no one's going to want to see this. Why would they want to see my art? There's so many other better artists out there. But you guys have been just so supportive and wonderful. And we have to try this masking fluid. I haven't used masking fluid in so long. What I end up doing is just trying to paint around everything or I just go in with a white Posca pen or one of these Uniball Signo pens. Um, I did a watercolor pencil video because Ikea actually has watercolor pencils and they were surprisingly decent. I can tell you right now these are way better quality. Actually, I might just have one hanging out around here. I'll just show you guys real quick, actually, side by side. Here's this Ikea orange um, next to this orange. I will say the Faber-Castell are much creamier, and I feel like the pigment on this one separates more or something, but if you want to try watercolor pencils out on a budget, get Ikea watercolor pencils. They're pretty good. Oops, I ripped the paper off. Let me try this one more time. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for this to dry since the first test film, I always let you guys know about the candy. And uh, this is a lime-covered chocolate, I think. I'm kind of scared to try it, not going to lie. But this apple thing is so good. I love it. I want more. <laughs> I love sour apple, but like the chewiness, it's like soft and chewy. I love it. This lime-covered chocolate. So far all I taste is lime. It's hard, so I think you suck on it. All right, the masking fluid came off a lot better this time. I'm not sure what I want to do with the watercolors, but I did decide that I'm gonna do two separate illustrations just because the mediums are so different. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Here's my first illustration. Um, I like how it turned out. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I had a hard time with the markers on this particular paper. I know how to use Copic markers. I've used them tons of times. I love them, but this paper is like super smooth and I've never used markers on that type of paper, um, but I, I do like it. It's not my preferred preference, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the second illustration and we'll see what comes out with that one. All right, I've got to let the masking fluid dry and then I'm going to try to paint over it in the background and then paint the tiger and we'll see how this goes. I have the vision in my mind and I want it to be like a matching set, but we'll see if this actually works out. Um, also, just while I'm at it, I'm trying out a new microphone um, because before I was just using my phone audio. So let me know in the comments if it made any sort of difference for the audio. Um, I'm trying to up my video quality for everybody. I finally got a tripod, which is how you're able to see this like above view. And I'm still kind of struggling with lighting, but hopefully I can get that upgraded pretty soon.
here's our finished product. We've got the Copic marker wand and we've got the watercolor Faber-Castell. I like how they both turned out a lot. The little swirls on them are really fun. All of these art supplies are really fun. I think, um, honestly, you can't go wrong with Copics and you can't go wrong with watercolor because I love both of them a lot. But um, I did have a little trouble getting used to this paper for the alcohol markers. Uh, but that, that wasn't just the paper, it was more of just me because I've never used paper quite like that before. So here's our Copic illustration. I love how it came out. All the colors were really awesome. The color scheme worked really well. I did break out a pink Copic for the background because I didn't want to leave it white because it just felt like it was missing something. Um, but I'm really happy with how this came out. This one was really, really fun to do. Watercolor is very therapeutic for me. And I love kind of using that rainbow effect on the um, little swooshes or whatever you want to call them. I really enjoyed both of these together as a set. I think they look pretty good. And this totally wasn't intentional, but I love how it goes from purple to blue to green to yellow. I mean, the illustration colors I chose were intentional, but as a set together. I thought that was just kind of a cool um, transition. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe uh, and share with your friends uh, if you think they'll like it. If you did the scholar box as well, um, let me know down in the comments what you guys did. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye and happy creating.